What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kai Speaks. Thanks for tuning in to Kai Speaks TV. Today we're going to be covering something that's been on my mind for a minute, and that is the irony within the phrase educated black man or educated black woman. It's been used and it's been dividing us for who knows how long, the black community. Uh, but before we get into that, some housekeeping, I guess I could call it. Be sure to, to like and subscribe to Kai Speaks TV, the YouTube channel that you're on right now. You can also go to the link that's in the description, www.thegoldenkeyfoundation.org slash Kai Speaks Biz to subscribe to my blog. As you'll see, a lot of the posts on my blog are, they typically lead the conversation for what I'm going to be talking about on YouTube. They go hand to hand. So if you like the content that I share with you today, tomorrow, whenever, like and subscribe, share with your friend, family and friends, and be sure to get them to tune in. But without further ado, let's get into that conversation because I think it's a good one and I think it's something that we all need to hear. So let's get it. I guess to start, it means recognizing that the most dangerous man in America is not an educated black man or black woman, to say the least. It is indeed the most dangerous man in America is a man who has absolutely no knowledge of the work of himself or the worth or value of his people as a community. That, in my opinion, is the most dangerous man in America. Uh, because if you if you understand that when you say that, this this whole phrase, okay, this whole phrase, educated black man, is, it is an, an elitist phrase because, like I said earlier, one is then deeming his uneducated counterparts as unworthy of salvation or unworthy as equal treatment as you are with that education. Not even to mention, we kind of just classify education as one sole thing. We, we classify education as one, going to school to get good grades and to go all the way up through the ranks from kindergarten to 12th grade to college to getting a master's to getting a doctorate and then we use these as levels of education and we only use that one system of education as, as the, the measurements of how educated the person is. And quite frankly, there are so many other vehicles to get education. There are so many other forms of education um, because I'm sure you heard that one can be book smart but have no kind of common sense uh, street wise, no street smarts. And that doesn't mean you have to specialize in sell drugs or anything. Street smarts are just specializing in everyday things, honestly, that's all that is. But you know, the smartest people in the classroom sometimes lack the most common sense. So for us to always use these examples of education as that one education system that, that we go off and jump on the high horse and value so much, I think we need to kind of refrain from that and just kind of dwell into more so what true education is. And what true education is, 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 is experience, it's uh, a, co a combination of literature and uh, real life experiences. It is a combination of practice. It is a combination of, of understanding ethics and, and logics and all kinds of stuff like that. It's not just mathematics. It's not just learning how to do calculus and algebra, learning how to Pythagorean theorem and all the stuff that we're taught in school. Because if you, if you really pay attention, the things that we're taught in school were only taught to remember for a certain amount of time until we have to get, um, get it taught again. See, we're not taught to apply knowledge to real life experiences. We're only taught to remember and repeat. And that kind of combination of remembrance and re repetition, that's only used for being an employee. So the education system to, at, that we know of is really only teaching us to be employees and not really to think for ourselves and to uh, apply information to our experiences and what we would like to do with our lives. So that's my biggest problem with education and this word that we use and how we use education. 
Um, and that also goes hand in hand with miseducation, because with education, there's always miseducation. And miseducation would be, uh, for example, that same education system that we were just talking about, teaching uh, blacks that we stem from slavery. And that's not really true. So like, that's all part of miseducation as well. Um, we, we get taught to go to school, get good grades, so you can go to a good college and take on debt so you can get a job that pays off the debt. And that's kind of a really backwards way of, of teaching a person when instead we should be teaching people to learn one thing at a time, learn how to apply what you learned that day or that week or that month or whatever. How did you apply it to something that you want to do for yourself? So first that it requires a, a, a goal mapping, setting goals and having a plan that we want to do. And then take from that goal and those plans take what do we need to learn to achieve those goals. Then we go into learning it, and then we go into applying what we learned to what we want to do. And that's a better form of education than the education system that we're, uh, that we're a part of currently today in this society. And that's why I feel so passionate about when people use the term educated black man, educated black woman, because it automatically, like I said, it rubs me the wrong way because then it's like, so you're saying that a person that you might have grew up with that didn't get the same education as you got is no longer uh, worthy of the things that you should have or the things that you have acquired in life. I, I don't think that I don't think that's right because you know there was a time where not everyone can even get that uh, that education, and there are still people who can't afford college. Like college is expensive, and not only the fact that education is invaluable. There's always someone or some people trying to put a value on education. That's why college is so expensive. I mean, I think I read, where did I read this? I read somewhere where like, in one of those countries like Sweden or Switzerland, like college is free. And I feel like that's a way better, a way better education system because they understand that education is invaluable. You can't just put one value on, on education because you know, you can never, you can never learn too much. You can never know too much because there's always something that you don't know. And the wise man knows what he does not know. Think about it. My bad, y'all. I had to change the battery as the battery died on me. But back to the topic at hand, and that is education and this education for that much. Um, as an HBCU graduate, graduate, I will always advocate for higher education, especially my HBCUs. Uh, because uh, what we do in our communities is very necessary for getting our youth to understand their value and everything like that. So I will always advocate for higher education. However, also the things that I'm saying about education and this education system is not to discourage anyone about uh, pursuing the school of their choice or to get out there and try education. It's not even to discredit those who have already graduated from college or got their master's or doctorate degrees and things like that. Congratulations to those people, because those, those are still big accomplishments. Uh, the main purpose of this uh, vlog was basically just to help people understand and give you an open mind on the way that we use these phrases like educated black man or educated black woman, because it then neglects those who are not educated, who don't have the same education as you, or who can't afford the same education as you, or the people who just choose not to go to college. I mean, we can't we can't neglect those people and we can't say that because they didn't go through what we did or what we went through that they don't deserve the same luxuries or the same opportunities for that matter. Uh, I think that this is just something that we just need to overlook and try to use more empathy when we say things like this because uh, it's important. You know, these are all, we just, as a community, we have to find as many ways as possible that were plotted to divide us and kind of like get rid of those things. So like educated black male, educated black woman, like, you know, these are ways to divide us from those who did not go through the same educational background as us. Um, but I will kind of close with a story of mine or just my own personal, cause I like to use my own personal experiences. So I will close with a story of mine. And that's basically like, growing up and I could see myself from like eighth grade all the way to 12th grade. How, if you, I'm not the only one, I'm sure. Like if you notice, like when you start a new year, you end up finding yourself doing like a refresh or a review of the things you learned last year or even sometimes two years before that. 
that's like the first week of school when you go back to school after the summer break is over. Like you're learning the things that you learned last year or two years ago. Shoot, sometimes you can learn things if you're in eighth grade and you come back from summer break and you're still learning things that you learned at first and fifth grade and stuff like that. So I feel as though that's the perfect example of the of why we don't even need uh, 12 grades to move up all the way to college or university. I don't think that we need that much because like I said in the beginning, if we are taught a way to where we goal map, set our goals and what we want to accomplish, and then next think about what do we need to learn so we can accomplish that, and then we go through the learning process, and then we have a we have the applied process. How do we apply what we learned to the goals that we have and the goals that we want to achieve? That is a much useful uh, education system than where we're just taught to forget. We're literally just taught to repeat and to forget later on and to repeat the same thing. Like we're never taught anything to obtain that knowledge for more than a year if we just go without it. You feel me? But if we learn and apply knowledge, if, if knowledge is applied, you cannot you cannot go over it for a year and it's still in the back of your mind because you've applied it to what you want to do. You applied it to real life. So it's starting to become like clockwork to where things that you're not interested in and not in things that you're just kind of like spoon fed, you have to be constantly spoon fed it to understand it and to be able to spit it out verbatim. Because that's what they, they teach us to spit things verbatim. No one is ever going to be able to remember or to learn things by just being spoon fed and then regurgitating it by, uh, by verbatim. So, you know, at this point, I'm just blabbing, blabbing on, blabbing, babbling. I'm just mumbling and stuff. So, you know, that's really all I have for y'all today, YouTube. But if you enjoyed the content here about education and the miseducation of the black man in America, you know, you can always share, subscribe to my vlog, share with your family and friends, the link below is where you can find my content to my blog post at Kai Speaks Biz at the GoldenKeyFoundation.org. So again, I appreciate y'all for tuning in to Kai Speaks TV. We out.